Once again, the name is Evangelist Justice Digraft. Oh, Bafos, I would like you to remember me in your prayer. I would like you to keep me in your prayer and then share this video and encourage somebody. And I know that the Lord will bless you and the Lord will reward you. Be a blessing to somebody. And I want to admonish the brothers out there. The brothers, I want to give you a revelation about the woman of Samaria. Brothers, this goes for the brothers or go to the brothers. Six men have mishandled the women, but one man imparted the woman. Six men. You see, a man should see beyond the physical appearance of a woman. If you claim you love a sister, you have to see what is in her in order to bring what is in her up. In order to bring what is in her out. If you are re real men don't abuse women. A real man won't say that because you don't sleep with me, I'm letting you go. Then you don't really know who she is. Because even before you propose to a woman, you have to see what is in her and see whether it can help you to fulfill your destiny. It is not just about her physical appearance. Six men mess the woman, the, the woman up. They abused the woman. They took the woman for granted. But the woman met another man. And that is Jesus. And that is why the, Jesus said that, said to the woman that you think that a lot of men have mixed you up. So because of that, I am one of those men. But I want you to know I am a man of distinction. I am a man. I am a different man. And, and my introduction into your life will activate and provoke what the Lord has planted in you in eternity before you came to time. I pray for my brothers, my fellow brothers out there, that you will never allow the devil to use you as a hunter to hunt sisters down. That you will not be a, 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 a women abuser. That you will not be a, a, a striker. But the Lord will use you to bless sisters. That your introduction into the life of sisters will bless them. That your introduction into the life of a sister will help her to fulfill the destiny of God in her life. A real man, the introduction of a real man into the life of a woman, bless the woman, impart the woman, lift the woman, and make the woman a woman. If you are a real man, when you go into the life of a woman, your, your, your introduction into her life, your presence in her life will build her, will build her up, will bless her, will develop her, will change her. A man, you see, God is a creator and a man is a creator. So when they put a woman, when God bring a woman to you, you should be able to bless the woman, not to break the woman you should be able to build the woman you see relationship and and uh, uh, relationship is not just sex my brother there are some brothers in their relationship is just about sex and if the sister does not do anything with them hey, then wahala but if you are a real man you see it is stupidity to think it is foolishness and stupidity and absurdity to think that what makes you a, a man is your ability to sleep with a lot of women that's foolishness what makes you a man is your ability to build the woman and to build a home a man mm, a man your introduction into the life of a woman bring light into the life of that woman that when people see the woman they will know that there is a man. You know, it is said philosophically that beside every successful man, there is a woman. And beside every woman that smiles and is shine, too, there is a woman. And you see, in the life of every woman, every woman that is frustrated, depressed too, there are some men who have depressed her. I have vowed, I pray. That the Lord will help me not to be women abuser. Especially those of us who claim we are anointed. Those of us who claim we have the hand of God on our lives. Our introduction into the life of women should bless their lives. Should bless them. 
six men abused the woman but one man called jesus brought what is in the woman out if you are a real man every woman has something in her your introduction into the life of that woman should bring that thing out thank god for bishop dakewood Moss. thank god for reverend is to the number thank god for some of our fathers that their introduction into the life of our mothers have made our mothers women of virtue and have made our mothers great weapons in the hands of god every woman every man every great man when they put a woman in your hand you should make the woman a great weapon in the hands of god oh my god already a lot of black men i remember during my marriage counseling the male counselor said something counselor said something very powerful i want to see it in here now see it in, in the, then he, he said that justice it means that in this world when somebody it means that in this world when somebody gives you something you don't destroy it you rather add value to it you don't take something belong to somebody and then destroy it but you add value when you see brother your introduction into the life of a man a introduction to the life of a woman should bring value into the life of that woman and sister listen to me if you are in a relationship with a man for six months and you don't see any improvement in your life then you have to discuss you have to advise yourself advise yourself there are some you, some of you sisters under the sound of my voice you are a very you are you are you are a good you are you see you are a very good christian but the moment you started dating this brother you know you, 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 your, your spiritual life has started going down because you are doing some of the things you never used to do the presence of this guy in your life is making you an immoral person you never used to do a lot of things but now the the, the presence of this guy in your life is destroying your relationship with god and any man that to destroy the relationship you have with God is not is is not for you. Any man that has been sent by God in your life will never take you away from God. Any man that has been sent by God into your life will never take you from God. He will rather bring you closer to God and develop you for God. Any man, I'm I'm telling you, any man that have been sent if, if you see sisters there's one of the one of the signs that this man is for me this man have been sent by god in my life one of the signs is that this person will bring you closer to god oh my god this person will improve your life whatever you are doing the, the, the even the ideas the person will give you the inspiration the person will give you the encouragement the person will give you will be, uh, i mean i mean will build you up and this will tell you that this man is really god's man for my life your soulmate is a man that will really bring you closer to god a man that will help you to fulfill your destiny and let me digress a little bit if you are a sister don't ever marry any man who thinks he's doing you a favor by marrying you any man who looks down on you disrespect you talk to you anyhow scream at you shout on you on the phone this man doesn't deserve you he doesn't what was was i'm i'm talking whilst i'm talking if you have a question you can send the question in the comment if you have a question you can send the question in a comment and i'm going to i'm going to answer you but what i want to i want to i want to tell you is that any man eh, that looks down on you any man that talks down on you and think that he is doing you a favor my, by mario that man doesn't deserve you and if you don't see that if you don't see that kind of thing you'll be abused you will be. and a lot of like i initially said a lot of the sisters think that you know a lot of the a lot of the sisters think that because their biological clock is tickling then then anybody at all that will come they should settle for that first no don't do that 
in this life eh na wo ware kra no eh wo ware ya enyo o maame ana wo papa na enyo bia na obetena ware no ho amam eh ye wo na obetena ware if you marry nobody is going to stay in that marriage for you you are rather going to stay in the marriage and if you if you marry and and, and, and an issue comes up we the pastors or people when they come right when they come and come and settle the issue they will, they will leave you alone in, in the marriage so don't settle for less don't settle for anything don't settle for anything so that was my advice for the men that the introduction of jesus in the life of the woman of samaria brought that evangelist out of the woman oh my god every woman there is something powerful in you if you want to know that this man is made for me the moment you meet this man the baby in you will leap what do i mean by that you know that there was a connection between john the baptist listen to me there was a connection between john the baptist and jesus and it is believed by bible scholars and theologians that john the baptist was still in the mother's womb was not moving it was he, he was dead it was like he was dead in the mother's womb but the moment mary sighted e e elizabeth sighted mary and there was that connection between john the baptist and jesus there was a leaping john the baptist the still baby came alive so which means that sister if you are if 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 if, if you are down it's like you lack vision and revelation the moment you meet the right person the right person will let the baby in you leap the vision in you will come alive any man that is for you any man that is the purpose of god for you any man that is the choice of the choice of god for your life the introduction of that man in your life will take you out of your comfort zone and put you on your toes and 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 inspire you to go for your vision and inspire you to go for it any man that is the choice of god in your life when you meet that man the baby in you will leap i'm telling you no matter how dead you are i'm telling you no matter how down you are no matter how shallow minded you the baby in you will leap but if you hang around a man hmm? if you hang around a man for months and it's like there is something moving in your life you are not inspired to do anything you are not challenged to do anything with your life you've not learned anything new no improvement you have you are with somebody for six months and there is no improvement in your life whatsoever no spiritual improvement no emotional improvement no intellectual improvement this person does not challenge you me my wife you can you can tell my wife, i am her pastor yes i encourage her to read encourage her to listen to messages even when even when he is in the kitchen i want him i, I want her to listen to messages i'm always on top of her i i, I always do her top to take her ministry serious to read the bible and to to pray what i really fight with my wife on is her vision how to develop herself i personally i personally bought her a high class phone to do facebook live and to talk to people about her ministry any man that is for you the introduction of that man in your life will move you forward